Hi, welcome back. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about um, the fitting of the heating elements. My original plan was to use this U-shape type heating element. You can get them in various different um, wattages. This is a 2000 watt, and I was going to use two elements. Um, the benefit that I liked with these was there were two small round holes. Um, I'm not into metal work. So cutting the oval sort of aperture for the uh, washing machine type element um, appeared to be a little bit daunting to start with. But uh, after thinking a little bit more, this U-shaped type element, I'm going to need to keep the water level a lot higher than I would if I put the um, washing machine type elements in. So I've already fitted one, um, and that's in the boil cap. Now the boil kettle's generally going to have uh, more liquid in there anyway, so it shouldn't present too much of an issue. Um, but for the HLT, um, for economy, etc., at times you want to boil um, or heat the least amount of uh, water you can. And I don't want to have to heat uh, sort of 50 litres and still leave 25, 30 litres in the keg. Um, because that's what sort of the depth it needs to be to cover the element. I'm not going to go into cutting, um, go into how I cut the holes. Um, well, I, I kind of am, but, but very briefly. Um, Jay from No Limits Brewery seems to have covered this really well. And I'll try and put a link to his video uh, in the description. That's what I watched myself, um, which gave me the confidence of how to cut the uh, hole for the element. Hopefully you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you. Okay, I've just, just cut the element hole out with the angle grinder and then filed it so it's all nice and smooth. And then I put a tiny little bit of washing up liquid on the element. And as I put the element in, I've got to make sure it goes below the other element that's already in there. And then this is quite tight. Sides are in. It's down as far as I can get it. So it's sitting below the element that's already in there. As you can see there's all the swarf from the cutting in here as well, which we're going to get out in a minute. Okay. And all there is to do is just tighten up this 10 mil nut on here. Ensuring it's down at the same time. Don't have to put too much pressure on it. It just pulls the plate at the back up towards this side and then spreads that rubber seal out. So right there, they're both the same. Okay. 
There we go. It's in there nice and tight and even. Now from the inside, I can feel that that, that rubber there has just expanded into that gap. And we're just off of there. Yep. So there we go, jobs are good. One. Just going to give that a good old wash out to get rid of the swarf. And then I might give it a quick test. There you go, I couldn't resist it. I've tried having both elements on, but it's too much for the uh, extension lead that I'm running at the minute. So we're just using the element down there. Something's happening. As you can see, I still haven't got my fittings in there yet. But the water is definitely getting hot. Okay, with all that done now, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, um, and get the video out there. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.